blew my back out on that one. YouTube, what's going on? It's Ashton Hall Official. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, turn your notifications because we're here twice a week. All right, I'm gonna be posting on Mondays and Fridays. Mondays are gonna be my hit days. Fridays are gonna be a random workout or a vlog from me, all right? Now in today's workout, we have a complete upper body workout. Anything push and pull we're gonna be doing. I want you guys to follow the movements and let's see how far along you can make it. I gotta get my handy dandy axe because it's gonna get ugly today, all right? Definitely one of those days where I don't feel like being here, but you know what we gotta do. You know what we came to do. We gotta get better daily. All right, I'm feeling good today. I feel like I'm probably about, I definitely dropped some weight. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got lean in. So I'm used to being about 219, 217, but I know I lost some weight. I'm probably at least like 212, 210 pounds. I've been in a deficit like crazy. I'm probably gonna post on what I eat in a day very, very soon, but check out the weight, all right? Fourteen. So I was about right, no shoes, no phone in my hand, I'll be about 212 pounds. So for today's warm up, we have arm circles. All right, we're gonna do flies, no weights, and then we have push ups. For each rep count, we have 20. We have 20 arm circles, we have 20 flies, and we have 20 push ups. All right, we're gonna do three rounds of that. Once we do three rounds, we'll get straight to the workout. That's where we get to the fun stuff. So I'm gonna put this on a good incline right here. Uh, I'm probably gonna, me personally, I'm gonna start off with, we'll start with the 50s today. So I'm gonna start with the 55s. All right, so with the 55s, we're gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. All right, 12 to 15 reps a piece. We have four sets. We're gonna work to go heavy. Let's go. <laughs> Second set, we're gonna go down a little bit more. So we did 55s for 12 to 15. Now we're gonna go up to about 75, me personally, I'm gonna go up to about 75 to 80 for like 10 reps. <laughs> Round two complete. Now it's about to get ugly, we're going to the hundreds. We'll do the hundreds for about eight reps. Let's get to it. Hey, we'll let these just chill right here for a second. <laughs> Come on, man. come on, come on, come on, come on, for real, for real, now we come out the shirt. So I gotta hit the next set twice, one for you guys, one for Instagram as well. If you're not following me on Instagram, you already know what to do. Same at Ashton Hall Official on Instagram and TikTok. But for the next set, we're gonna go for about five to six reps, 125 pounds. Let's get to it. Dog, I ain't replying. Feel like John Moran. Need a triple double. Told him check the step. This is a part of the workout where we negotiate. But you already know what we do with negotiation. The deal was closed. There's no turn on the deal. Let's get to it. There we go. <laughs> not recommended. Dang, that blew my back out on that one. All right, recap on that one. We went a bit on safe with the 125s. Body's a little depleted right now. Definitely sore and fatigued. But now we're going to the lat pull downs. We're gonna do these lat pull downs with the seat. I'm gonna grab a little seat with the incline here in a second, if I can find one. All right, man. It's time for this gym to get a little bit more fancy with this equipment. I'm gonna pull the lat bar on there. Bring the weight to about 150. I'm gonna put this at an incline. And I'm gonna get straight to it. All right, as you can see, the seat was moving a little bit, so you wanna put like a 50 pound, maybe 100 pound dumbbell in front of the seat so it doesn't move. Other than that, this movement is freaking killer. All right, so I like this movement because you're not rocking back and forth. It's really giving you great isolation with the lats. All right, so here I'm gonna go up and wait a little bit. It's kind of light for me. Do the whole rack. You're doing the whole rack, and you know you're getting somewhere, all right? So 
we finished the lap pull downs. We're gonna superset that with bicep curls. All right, I like to do my bicep curls with the rope. All right, I'm not going heavy, very, very slow and controlled. Let's get to it. So right here, personally, I'm gonna go about 90 pounds. I'm gonna do hammer grip. We're gonna go for 25 reps. Yes, I said 25 reps. Hello. Yeah, I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it does settle. So I'm in my element, it's evident that this level to the So on these two movements right here, we're not really going up in weight. The focus is gonna be just hitting the set, hitting the first rep, how you hit the last rep as well. So you gotta do number one and number 12 the same. If anything, do 12 better, all right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do four sets of 12 right here, 12 to 15. We're gonna do four sets of 25, non-negotiable, right here on the curls. Let's get to it. Activate the lats. All right, this is the focus right here. Grow the wings. Get nice and wide. When you pull down, pull with the pinkies. Don't use the biceps. Pull with the pinkies so you're only using the lats. Again, straight to it, no rest at all. We're going straight to the bicep curls, 25 reps, non-negotiable. Oh, you gotta hate it, but you gotta love it. All right, so at this point, you should be feeling a really good pump. I'm feeling freaking phenomenal right now. Right here, we already focused on the chest. We hit a little bit of shoulders. We didn't isolate the triceps yet. So we're gonna do tricep pull down, superset it with some flies on the cable machine. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna pull this cable down. I'm gonna pull it down to about, I'm gonna pull it down to eight. Now I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit more because my chest will be essentially right here when I'm sitting down. So here I'm gonna go for about 15 reps. All right, first set, we're going nice, slow and controlled. This is pretty light. So I'm definitely probably gonna go up on the next set, but we'll hit about 15 reps. We're gonna do four sets as well. Everything about that felt amazing. The placement of the seat was a little messed up. So I'm gonna bring it a little forward, all right? And I'm gonna bring the incline up just a little bit because I feel like I was laying down a bit much. Now we're going straight over here to the tricep pull downs. No rest in between at all. Now right here, we're gonna go about 15 reps as well. Four sets, four to five sets. So sometimes I don't count my first set, depending on how good it felt. The last one, I'm not gonna count because it felt decent. If it's seven out of 10, that's not good enough. But anyways, we're gonna do four or five sets of this, 15 reps a piece, and then we'll be done. Let's get to it. Definitely felt the difference on that one. Now you might be asking me what's the difference between this and see the seated fly machine. I like these more because I can come at an angle. I can come high if I want to, I can come low, I can come mid. But when you're on a machine, you're stationary. You can't move, but most times you only can go, either you can go high if you, can, if you know how to finesse it right, or you can go mid, but you can't go low. So on these, I like to focus and get around my midsection. Nice and slow. All right, slower you go, more you grow. Make sure you're not in a hurry. Let's get to it. <laughs> Workout complete. As you can see, we don't do too many movements. I like to only do about four or five exercises, all right, so I can get a nice focus on each movement. If you feel like you can go more, do like six or seven rounds, all right? I would rather you do that rather than doing eight to 10 different exercises and your body's confused. It doesn't know what it worked. It had no focus, all right? So if you did like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Remember that I'm here twice a week, all right? I do hit videos on Mondays. I love my hit, all right? I like to stay athletic. I believe if you look good, that's great, but if you can't perform well, you're only as good as you can perform. So on Fridays, I'll be doing the vlogs, all right? With the vlogs, I'll be posting what I eat. I'll be posting my daily routines, how I'm staying productive, where I get my motivation, the whole nine yards. So make sure you tune in on Mondays and Fridays. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, here are my ads right here at the bottom, Ashton Hall Official on both apps. I love each and every one of you guys. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time. Let's get to it.